When you first log in, you'll notice that on your dashboard, you see your students and classes. From these lessons and classes, you can just swipe right to take attendance. And you'll see how easy it is when you say yes, you're done. And that's it, it's that simple. You'll notice the top one, Benjamin, turned green. You'll notice worn underneath is pink and the class is yellow. That's because we allow for the custom colors so you can connote different things like virtual lessons or things like that. You'll also notice Derek is already red, meaning he probably pre-canceled in the student apps. If you'd like to take other attendance, like for someone that doesn't actually show up, for instance, you could swipe left. And if you swipe left, you'll notice some options. You click on attendance, and then it brings up a full screen that allows you to make notes, including scheduling notes. It also allows you to mark different, like no-show, for instance. So when I save that no-show, then you'll notice that if I go back, that it'll actually turn the student a no-show color, which in our case is orange. Chatting with your individual students and groups is very easy. You'll notice when you log into the app on the top left, it says messages. And you can also enable the banner notifications so when chats come in, you get notified. When you click into that, you'll notice you can see the list of people you've been chatting with or groups. You can also go to your contact list to pull from others. So to come into people that we have been chatting with, you simply click on them. You'll notice the teacher chats are the school branding colors and the student chats are in gray. And what's great is you can have emojis, links, files, all sorts of things to share with your students and your groups. Creating assignments for your classes and your private lessons is really easy. All you do is swipe left from the dashboard and go to assignment. And then we've made it simple because we allow you to first choose files, then you can give it a name or go with the default, which is the date. And we'll part in a lesson plan if you're choosing from courses or, or YouTube. And then you can also type in our lesson plan or even use voice text. Really quick, if we choose we can choose from courses. That's pre-created courses in the system. We can choose from the millions of videos using our YouTube API. We can also upload files and links. So we'll go ahead and just grab one of those from previously uploaded files. And so we'll choose one and save. And that'll put the file there for you. You can then edit the description by using the actual microphone on the voice text. So as I press it, hello, this is your lesson plan for the week. You'll notice it puts it right there. And then we've auto parmed in a week later. You can change the date if you want to. Otherwise, you simply save the practice. It's that easy to assign student practice. And then after you assign it, what's nice is you can actually preview or view what you've done. So it allows you to make sure that you've done what you wanted to, and then you can go to the next student. Okay, if you want to access any of your student profiles, if you're having a lesson that day, you can simply swipe left and then go to their profile. From there, you can add notes. So if I click the add notes, I can also swipe again and see parent data if in fact that data is displayed for your location. So you've got your profile and the rest of the family. The other thing that's really nice is that at the bottom, you'll notice it says students. And if you need to quickly get to a student, you can type in a search or you can just click on them and it'll take you right to that profile. We have gamification included in TeacherZone and the new teacher app. So what's great about the teacher app is you can actually go to the leaderboard. You'll notice your roster. We have all sorts of system points and badges that get auto assigned, but you can turn those on or off, edit them. You can make your own, so you can create your own games. Super easy to assign manual ones that you've created. For instance, you can just click on a student, and then from there, you'll see the badges they already have, or if I click to the right, I'll see the points they have or swipe. And then I can hit the plus button, and I can actually choose from some of the other levels or badges or custom ones that you've created. So you can actually choose some of the badges that you like and save it. And now that student has gotten that badge that they can see and it makes it really fun. So you can create all sorts of different games or um, contests or whatever you like in your school. You can easily create courses and lessons that you can use over and over again. You can even add features like unlocking and all sorts of stuff. So from our dashboard on the bottom menu, you'll notice there's learning. 
From there, you click courses. And then once you've added courses, you can actually select them in your practice and all that good stuff. To add a new course, you just click the add button and then you can do all sorts of stuff. You can put in the title, you can put in add-ons. You can even choose who you wanna share it with, your students or your whole school. You can even add lessons. So if I go from any of these, I can just click on them and then I can actually do what I want to edit the course, or I can add lessons. So if I add edit lessons, you'll notice when I click add, I can now put in my own lesson that can have full multimedia here. And then once lessons are added, you can just drag and drop the order of the lessons to make it easier on assigning. So if I go to the lesson screen, here's some lessons in a course, and I can literally just drag them and drop them to a different spot if I'd like to. Super easy.